for Shay Tom and Shay Dave. Look at this big scene, this big crocodile or alligator. I'm not sure the difference. Bob worked very hard at being lazy. Being lazy is making me very hungry, said Bob to no one. Maybe if I ask nicely, a bird will fly in my mouth and down into my belly. Let's see, can you see any birds? Oh, look, I see some shadows, some bird shadows in the water or reflections. Look at his tongue. That looks like a very hungry crocodile. Hey, birds, fly in here, please. Thank you. There he is, big splash of water behind him. Oh my goodness, look at how scared that bird looks. And they're flying in three different directions. Look at how the words and the type are angled so they're moving in the same direction as the birds. No, but I said please and thank you, said Bob. Lucky grass, I wish I had seeds on me. Then I'd have all the birds I want. Wait, that's it. There we go. He's among all of the flowers watching the birds. What are the birds eating? Looks like they're eating seeds. They look very peaceful. I like how the mountain has clouds that are drawn in a line. I will open a bird seed restaurant on my nose. Birds will come to eat, but I will eat the birds. I will sell my super smart idea to other lazy alligators. I will be rich and famous and great. Look at his expression. Oh, who are these people? Look at the birds. Boy, he does look very um, satisfied. Look at his hand on his belly. I will have diamond teeth and a solid gold hat. I will be full of yummy, yummy birds. Bob opened Shea Bob the very next day. So it looks like he's imagining himself as a rich and famous restaurateur. Hey, what's that? Looks like it's a cast on his foot, I think. I'm not exactly sure. Welcome to Shea Bob, which is a real restaurant and not a trick. Look at this bird. Let's see, I will have the bird seed, said the bird, pointing his wing at the only thing on the menu. Good choice, said Bob. Bob seasoned his seed with all his favorite spices so his customers would taste extra yummy. Oh, goodness. Do you think that bird knows what's going on? Look at his eyes. Hmm. wonder what he has in store. Look at the trees back here. The trees are the same color as the bird. Delicious, said the bird. I will tell all my friends. Oh, then I will not eat you, said Bob. What? said the bird. I said, so nice to meet you, said Bob and he couldn't wait to meet the bird's tasty friends. Look at how all these birds are in like this line. Soon, Shea Bob was the talk of the trees. Birds flew in from all over the world to eat in Bob's face. Look at all these, look, there's even a peacock here. There's a bird playing a guitar. Boy, I don't know that Bob realized he was gonna have a popular restaurant. Look at all these friends he's making. Oh my goodness, what's this? It wasn't long before a little town sprang up around Shea Bob. The birds built a school, a library, a little park, and an extensive public transportation system. That's weird since birds can fly, thought Bob. Look at this. There's a transportation system. I think, let's see here, a school. We've got a school. Where's the library? Hmm, I'm looking for the library. I wonder if that's the library. Wow, this is a whole town. Look, there's even a place to swim. Oh, is construction going on? That looks like a crane. Look how cute that is. We have little birds' nests. Bob looks very excited. 
As a small business owner, Bob wanted to be part of the community. He coached the basketball team. It's rewarding to be a positive role model for the birds I'm going to eat, thought Bob. Hey, look, he's a coach. Hey, they're playing basketball on his nose. They better be careful because what's that? It looks like a mouth. Since he was new in town, Bob joined a book club to meet some like-minded birds. He hit it off with everyone except the orange bird who never let anyone else talk. How rude, thought Bob. I'm totally eating him first. You notice anything special about Bob in this illustration? Illustration is what we call the art, the art of a book. Look at his glasses, how they're low on his nose, and his eyes are sort of closed. He looks very snobby. Hey, Maisie, no barking. That's my dog, Maisie. She likes to bark. I don't know that she knows Bob. Bob treated his best customers to a sunset dinner cruise to thank them for their patronage. If it weren't for these birds I'm going to eat, I'd be out of business, thought Bob. Hey, Bob looks like a boat, like a long boat, kind of like a submarine. Look at all these candles on the lily pads. Hey, my dog stopped barking. I better keep reading. That night, the birds stayed up way past their bedtime, chirping about the fun they had with Bob all day. They look so cozy and warm together, thought Bob. Maybe the birds I'm going to eat will invite me for a sleepover sometime. Bob imagined a sad, lonely song in his head as he tried to fall asleep by himself. Maybe I should get a cat to snuggle with or snack on, he thought. I think Bob's getting confused. I think these birds are becoming his friends. Wow, it's nighttime. Look at this white bird just flying around in the sky. The next morning, Bob was excited to see the birds. Hey guys, I went for a walk this morning and picked some pretty flowers for your nests. Oh, and guess what? I think I saw a turtle. Cool, right? Look, he has flowers that he brought the birds. But before they got to hear about the cool turtle, the sky turned dark and kirak! Oh my goodness, a storm, shouted Bob. Quick, everyone fly into my mouth for safety. The startled little birds swarmed into Bob's gaping jaws to escape the storm. Oh, look. Do you think that's a safe place for those birds to hide? I don't know. Now is my chance to eat the birds, thought Bob. I cannot wait to see the looks on their beaks when they check out my diamond teeth and solid gold hat. They will be jealous and amazed. Boy, Bob looks like he's going to have some dinner. But the little birds would not see Bob's hat or teeth. All the little birds would be inside Bob's belly. Bob looked around the quiet, empty town. A solid gold hat seemed kind of silly now. Diamond teeth didn't seem so cool anymore. Bob could hear the birds in his mouth, laughing, playing, and cleaning his teeth. Bob knew what he had to do. Look, he has a tear. Look, there's a rain cloud there. Oh, I'm feeling sad for him. Yay, Bob saved us, cheered the birds that Bob probably was not going to eat. I don't think hero is too strong a word, do you? asked Bob. And a hero deserves a super secret hero surprise, said a bird who was very excited. Follow us. Look, it's a big circle of birds. Look at that big pink mouth. Hey, it kind of looks like a heart on its side. Oh, a heart means love, doesn't it? We've been working on a bob-sized nest especially for you, said a bird who was good at keeping secrets. Now we can be together always, said a bird with a big heart. Oh my gosh, you are all so sweet. And I should know, since I just spit you out, said Bob to the birds. He was absolutely, without a doubt, definitely not going to eat. Welcome home, Bob. 
Look at that. They became friends. They were going to be his dinner, and they became his friends. I wonder if he looks scared or happy. I think he's probably happy because look at all these friends he made. Look, he's riding a bike on the very last page. Oh, look, look at the back cover. He's eating popcorn at a movie. Well, there's Shea Bob. That's a story about an alligator who thinks he's going to eat all these birds, but they become his best friend. Hey, and don't forget, always go to your library and then buy the book once you fall in love with it. That's what I normally do. Shea Bob by Bob Shea. Thanks so much for watching.